The other simple machine that is also a variation on an incline is the screw. And you know how a screw works. The screw has a pointy end and then there's the head up here and the screwdriver fits into the head and you can put the screwdriver in there and turn it, turn the screw. But wrapped around the screw are these threads. And these threads are really like an incline that's wrapped around the screw. And if you have two pieces of wood, say like this, and you put the screw into them, then as you screw it in tight, the screw's cutting through the wood, the head of the screw catches this piece of wood here and pulls it up tight against the other one. So you can fasten two pieces of wood together with the screw. The force that you exert to turn on the screw gets multiplied by the angle of the threads. Think of those threads as an incline wrapped around the screw. And you can see the trade-off between force and distance if you realize that you have to turn the screw a lot. You have to turn it around and around and around several times just to get the screw to advance maybe an inch or a fraction of an inch. So there's a lot of turning going in to get out, get out a very small motion. And that gives the screw a large mechanical advantage. A screw's also designed intentionally to have a lot of friction. It's not very efficient. There's a good bit of energy lost to friction because you don't want the screw coming loose. But it, it does multiply the force considerably. This is a picture of what's called a screw jack or sometimes a jack screw. And you don't see the threads down in here, but they're down inside. This metal pole right there runs down inside and, and it's threaded down inside here. And so you could take this top part and twist it and start unscrewing it and this top part would rise up. Another way to think of it is this top part rotates and screws down into the base here. This thing is about a foot tall. You can see this part right here is a handle just for holding it. So that gives you an idea of how big it is. It's usually very sturdy, made of steel. And this hole right here, you can stick a pipe in there or a metal, a metal object, suppose you stuck a, a long metal pipe in here and then instead of unscrewing this you start putting a force on the end of this pipe so it's, you're going to force it around this way you're going to be rotating that to unscrew this you can generate a tremendous upward force you get the mechanical advantage of the, the screw due to the angle of the threads and then also the mechanical advantage of the lever, of this lever arm. And you can get a mechanical advantage of 100 or 200 or on into the hundreds with a, a jack screw like this. This is what they use to lift up a house. If they're trying to stabilize a house or actually lift up a house to put it on something to move it, this is how they lift it. They use a jack screw. And these can generate a tremendous upward force because of the very large mechanical advantage.